Let's check the forecast now. It's a gorgeous end to the day in Cape May. A great night to dine al fresco down the shore, but you might see some rain a little later tonight. And that's not the only chance for storms this week. Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly in our new virtual reality studio with the next weather forecast. Hey there. Yeah, and that chance, guys, it's a little baby chance. It's not <laughs> much. And when we're talking about an isolated shower or two, we mean that literally, like one or two in our area. We have one here in South Philly moving on across over the Delaware. We'll get to that in just a moment. Here's our live camera outside. As you can see, I want to show you what it looks like right now. You had Kate May there. Oh, hold on. Hold on. iPad, log me out. We're going to log back in. Technology is so fun uh, as it's there we go. And you can see here that, well, we got a lot of folks out and about at Ocean City right now. A little bit of a breeze. You see a couple of clouds. You see the blue sky. Shore locations starting to get a little bit more popular this time of year, obviously, especially with gorgeous weather like we have today. Let's talk about some of the temperatures around the area because it's a beautiful one, a little more humid than it has been. Down the shore, temperatures now into the 70s around Cape May. You got 82 for Atlantic City, Millville sitting in the low 80s. And that's where we are up and down 95 temperatures. Roughly where we were last hour, 83 in Wilmington, Philadelphia, still sitting at 86 degrees. That's where we were when we met last time, Trenton at 84. And back around the Lehigh Valley, low 80s, the Poconos, gorgeous. Got a temperature right now in the mid 70s up around Mount Pocono. So when we're looking at the showers, I said an isolated shower or two. This is the one that we're tracking that moved through South Philly. It's still there, rolling across 95, now moving its way south into parts of uh, Gloucester County, probably crossing over 295 in the Turnpike shortly. And here's what it looks like from our camera at 95, looking toward the link. You see the shadowing here, but the sunlight over the uh, Gerard Point Bridge. It's really just an isolated pocket that we're going to have a stray shower or two. Otherwise, there's really not much else on our map, with the exception of this cell right here developing just south of Redding into parts of Berks County. A lot of this that's moving through Burlington, this is actually a, a gust front, a sea breeze. Some of that relatively cool air pushing across could trigger a few more showers. And that is what our future cast is indicating here as we go through the next couple of hours. Now that there's been a shower that has developed, that could potentially trigger a few more. So some isolated showers throughout the evening hours tonight, but these all taper off a little bit later on tonight. And it is the luck or unluck of the draw, depending on your perspective. Me, I'd love to have a shower over the house, get some rain on the grass because we have not had much the last couple of weeks. That'd be great. And then as we look ahead to our day tomorrow, we start out with low clouds and fog. Again, very slight chance of a shower. We're going to generalize it by saying a mostly sunny sky in our area. Can't completely rule it out, but a much greater chance as we get into late Wednesday night, wait, Tuesday night, and into our day Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, evening, and Thursday. That's what we're watching for our next chance of rain for the most part. But a stray shower early tonight. 65 degrees. We'll get some fog that develops a little bit later on. We'll go to 87 tomorrow under mostly sunny skies. You get the humidity out there, just a taste of humidity. It's going to go up a little bit tonight before it goes back down to the humid territory uh, tomorrow. When we're talking about your seven day details here, feeling good. You got 87 tomorrow with a little humidity. Afternoon, it's going to be a little toasty. Then we'll go 80 and 85, respectively, for Wednesday, Thursday. A bit cooler on Wednesday with some of those afternoon showers. Thursday is not a washout day. We get a a partly cloudy sky with some stray showers, and that trend continues right through the weekend, and temperatures drop back down into the 70s. That's a look at your weather forecast. We'll be right back.